Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to reset your own Windows host file in case it's been hijacked by malware. Now, to do that, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting a program called Host Expert, which is a freeware that you can download off the uh, Major Geeks website. And uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description box. What you want to do is you want to download Host Expert. Now, if you can't get Host Expert onto your computer because you're infected, you're going to have to obviously use a USB flash drive and transfer it over using another computer. However, if you can get your browser open and you can get to this website here, I'm going to leave the link in the description box. You can go ahead and you can download a copy of Host Expert. This is what we're going to be using to reset the Windows host file so we can uh, resolve some of our issues that we may be having perhaps in case your uh, browser is not working correctly or if you can't download an update or you can't visit a website since you've got malware on your computer or recently had it on your computer. So now let's go about uh, resetting the actual host file in Windows. So to do that, what you're going to do is if you're running Windows 7 like I am, you're going to obviously you're going to open up this PC and in here you're going to lo look for local disk C. You're going to look for the Windows folder. And then when you open up the Windows folder, you're going to come down and you're going to look for a folder called System32. You open that one up. Then you're going to come down and look for a folder here called Drivers. And then once you find Drivers folder, you're going to look for a folder called ETC. Once you open that up, you're going to see your host file right here. And what you want to do is you want to right click and you want to go into Properties. And you want to click Security. And in here you want to click Edit. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you allow yourself full control over this file so you can delete it. So you want to click allow, full control, click apply. You'll get this warning from Windows Security. And it's just going to say you're about to make changes and make permission changes to this file. Click OK. Click OK again. OK. And now that you've done that, you can right click on the host file and delete it. And now once you delete it, we're going to replace it with a, with a fresh host file that hasn't been modified by malware or anything like that. So now we're going to go back to our desktop and locate the host expert. Click OK. And uh, what you do from there is you... Uh, basically, you would come over to where it says Restore MS Host File. And it would say Press OK to restore the original host file. And once you do that, it will go ahead and it might and it will reinstall re the original host file from Microsoft. So now, if you go back in there, you could see here that the, that 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 host file that we deleted has been recreated. You can right click and open it with Notepad, and it should be the default host file from Microsoft, and it should look exactly like what it looks like on my screen right here. Once you've done that, you've successfully reset the host file in Windows, and your browser problems that were caused by malware should be resolved. If you like my videos, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.